right, what's happening? Thanks for joining us. Uh, I don't know who is joining us on this one. Maybe we're just showing a couple people. I don't know. But uh, you're, Pete, tell you're us. Chris, right? I am Chris. And I'm Pete. And you're Pete. And that's um, what we're doing. This is from the uh, Two Kendalls Brewery okay. in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, I actually work with one of the Kendalls. And this is uh, their most recent IPA. They've been putting out uh, home brews for about a year now. Um, I've had four or five. I just had a Pilsner that, that uh, my wife Rita and I actually really enjoyed. Um, this is an IPA that they recently brewed, and uh, they bring them to me occasionally for me to try. Um, so we figured we'd throw it on the video. Cool. So. I love those, like, flip-top little bottles. Yeah, it's very, very uh, elegant. Yeah. And supposedly they just got a gun for infusing carbonation or something. I don't totally understand the whole home brewing process, but um, they're very proud of that, and uh, and they like what they're producing. So and and it's actually I've been enjoying um, the the last batch. Um, really, you know, I I would have thought it was a, a professionally brewed beer. I've had some really 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 bad home brews. <laughs> Where it's like, yeah, yeah man, <laughs> thanks, it tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to try this IPA. I've had a, another one of theirs, and it was really good. Yeah. So. Well, there's, there wasn't much in the way of head, but we all we just rinsed our uh, glasses out for yeah. something else. So I know that tends to add to the ability for head not to stick around. But it's got a really nice, hazy sort of, you know, Orange, yeah, kind of bright orangey. Yeah, a little bit of cloudiness and stuff, but there's some carbonation. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I, I know they just recently acquired yeah. a gun for carbonation, and I don't know if this was made pre, pre equipment or not, but it's not bad. Little bubbles. You don't have any, uh, any idea of the percentage on this? No, I do not. This even, you know, it does have well, a little bit of alcohol film sticking to the glass there, but. Let's see what we got for an aroma. It's got some some hoppiness. Yeah, it's a definitely I think like a the main thing I'm getting is like a big um, sort of floral, earthy, hoppy component. There's maybe like a little bit of like a like a lemon lemon rind zest kind of. Yeah, there's definitely some Quality. citrusy, yeah, citrus notes. Yeah, that's pretty. It smells good. pretty good. Yeah, it's a decent smell. Decent. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice. It reminds me, um, sort of something along the lines of like the Victory Hop Wallop, where it has like that. You can taste like there's like a big fresh kind of hop. Um, presence to it where it's not necessarily like like big citrus or anything but it's just like kind of that pungent fresh hop kind of taste where this and this one's kind of on the floral earthy side and there's a little bit of a citrus quality to it too but it's just like a really pungent fresh hop taste but at the same time it has like a really big malt backbone yeah it's I mean it's a it's got a good flavor it doesn't it doesn't leave you kind of doesn't leave like a bitterness or anything on the tongue like a hop, hoppiness hit but it's it's nice no I think you know I think it's you know at least for me on my tongue it's definitely like I can I can definitely feel the bittering effect you know that that's there but you know the carbonations you know in there well enough that just it drinks really easy and it, it's all you know it's kind of drying, so it's leaving you wanting to drink more of it. Yeah. What did you get to the alcohol? It's hard to say, huh? I'm not tasting it. You know, and there's a lot of things that I've had before that, you know, the alcohol's like 12%. You're like, I, I couldn't taste that, but... So, I'm not willing to say, but... 
At the same time, half the time, I don't care what the alcohol percentage is. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> if you can just make a beer taste really good, yep. that really is all you need. Like, I don't need it to be 8% or 10%. It's like, if you can make a beer... Hell, if you can make an alcohol-free beer taste like Heady Topper... I'll buy it. Yeah. In fact, I'll yeah. I'll buy more of it because that means I can drink more of it and not become an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm all, I'm all for that. Yeah, but you know what? This is a really great tasting IPA. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say, and I maybe I haven't tasted enough of them, but I wouldn't say you know this is a homebrew. I mean, I I could totally buy this as a commercial yep. branded IPA. Yeah. Very much. May, so. Maybe even for some of the. How heavy I think the malt is in here. You could almost maybe even get away with pale ale on this one, but you know, you were saying it's an IPA, but yeah, I think you know that's what I was saying. It's sort of similar, like that. I thought the Victory Hop Walt was one of those that was one of those like, oh, I can't taste the alcohol, but oh, all of a sudden I've had two and I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah, which didn't stop me from getting the third or fourth one. I'm just saying I was on the floor, but it had that sort of same kind of malt like malt heavy presence in the IPA but there's also a lot of like that really fresh hop aroma like if you've ever like done hop picking or any of that like there was a time where we were like this fall like we were picking hops at a friend's house and it's just you get that pungent sticky aroma we were actually just putting that in his like homebrew IPA at the same time so you just had this like fresh like literally fresh hopped like you know or what do you call it maybe dry hop but with wet hops <laughs> just huge hop aromas and that's really what i'm getting out of this it's, it's just great yeah not bad for the two candles good work all right so uh yeah we've got a little bit left that's cool we'll keep cheers. enjoying this and hope you're enjoying something as well see you next time cheers cheers